Hello, my name is Najat. I specialize in Moroccan cuisine. Today we are going to prepare briwats, or phyllo triangles with chicken and spinach. Briwats are popular savory appetizer. To prepare briwats, you will need spinach, chicken breast, olive oil, salt, black pepper, chili powder, a preserved lemon, and oregano. As for filling, you will need shaben and grated cheese. For shaping the briwat, we will use plain flour, water, pastilla sheets, and vegetable oil. Let's now prepare the filling. First, add olive oil to the pan. Turn the heat to medium. Add the chicken breast to the pan. The chicken needs to be cut into small cubes. You can replace the chicken breast with turkey breast or the ground meat of your choice. Let the chicken cook and let's move to chopping the spinach. No need to chop the spinach too thinly as it will quickly wilt. The spinach has been washed before. I will now chop the rest of the spinach. Let's stir the chicken. The chicken cooks very quickly when it's cut into small cubes. I will let it simmer a little longer before adding the spinach. Let's now add the spinach to the pan. Even if we put a large amount of spinach, it will all cook down. Now that you have added the spinach, turn up the heat to high. Spinach releases a lot of water when cooking. Turning up the heat helps evaporate the water, so the filling for the briwats is dry. Add salt. I don't use too much salt, since I will also add preserved lemon and cheese, which are both salty. I added black pepper. Now add chili powder. The chili is totally optional. Add it to taste. Oregano. For the best flavor, you can warm up the oregano in a pan, then store it for use. 
Rub it between your hands to release its aroma. Now that you have seasoned the filling mixture, stir to combine. As you can see, the spinach has shrunk after it cooks. It also released a lot of water. We know the filling is cooked when all the water evaporates. The filling has cooked through and all liquid has evaporated. Let's turn off the heat. Now that we have turned off the heat, cut the preserved lemon. Make sure to remove the lemon seeds so they don't release bitterness in the filling. Finally, dice the lemon. We don't cook the preserved lemon with the spinach and chicken so that it doesn't turn bitter. Now that you have chopped the preserved lemon, add it to the filling. Transfer the filling to a bowl. Time to add the jubin or cream cheese. Add the grated cheese as well. Mix until well combined. Make sure the filling is cool before you add the cheeses. We don't want our cheese to melt before we shape the briwats. Set it aside to cool down completely, then we can use it to fill the pastilla sheets. We mix the flour and water paste as a seal for the briwats. Add the flour. And water. The mixture should not be too thick nor too runny. If it turns out runny, it will not stick the pastilla sheets together. 
If it's too thick, the batter will make shaping the briwats more challenging. This paste prevents the filling from spilling out of the brie watts. This is what the texture of the mixture should look like. Just like this. Now let's cut the pastilla sheets. We are using large pastilla sheets in this recipe. These sheets can be used to prepare pastilla and cigars too. First, cut the edges of the sheets. These edges are not needed because they are dry. Make sure to cover the sheets in plastic wrap until you are ready to use them so they don't dry up. We use large sheets in this recipe because savory brie watts are usually large in size compared to the sweet ones. When the sheets dry up, they easily break down. But when covered, the sheets stay dry. Fold the sheets into a half circle. And now it's ready to be cut. Cut off the edge. Same with the other edge. Then we cut the sheets into 6 cm 2.5 inches wide strips. To make sure the strips are the same width, use our first cut strip as a measuring tool for the rest of the strips. After cutting the sheets, unfold the strips so that it is easier to fill them up. Let's now shape the brie watts. Each pastilla sheet has a smooth side and a rough side. The smooth side of the sheets should be facing down. Now place the filling directly on the strip. Do not overfill the brie watts so they don't burst while cooking. For the folding, take the corner of the pastilla sheet and fold it over the filling. Shape the filling to form a triangle.
Now fold this edge to the other side to maintain the triangle shape. Make sure to adjust the filling every time you fold to make sure the filling stays tucked in. Continue folding from right to left and from left to right. Before reaching the end of the pastilla sheet, seal it with the edge with water and flour paste. To safely enclose the filling before frying the briwats. Let's shape another one. We will repeat the same technique we used earlier. Fold the corner over the filling. Adjust the filling to form a triangle. Fold the sheets from one side to the other. Adjust the filling one more time. Roll it over until you reach the end of the pastilla sheets. Do not apply pressure when shaping the briwats to keep the filling tucked in. We seal the sheet with the flour and water paste again. Repeat the same technique until you use up all the filling. Now that all the briwats are folded, we will fry them. Add vegetable oil to the pan. Fill it up with enough oil to prevent the briwats from burning. Place the briwats in the pan once the oil is hot. Now that the oil is hot, let's fry the briwats. Fry them for two minutes, then flip them and cook until golden brown on the other side. As you can see, they cook quite nicely. Now that the briwats are golden brown on all sides, remove them from the oil. Place them on a plate lined with paper towels to remove any excess oil. If you place the briwats directly in the plate, the pastilla sheets will lose their crispness.
The Brie Watts are now ready. Enjoy!